Assalamualaikum and good morning everyone. I hope all of you are doing well. So for today's lesson, we are going to learn another two scientific skills. The first one is making inferences. Ataupun membuat inference And the second one is predicting Ataupun meramal What is making inferences? Making an inference is a skill to reasonably explain an initial conclusion of an observation Okay, now let's look at your textbook, page 8. Making inferences. Okay, uh, let's read together. Making an inference is a skill to reasonably explain an initial conclusion of an observation. Okay, maksudnya, membuat inference ni ialah satu kemahiran untuk uh, kita buat kesimpulan awal berdasarkan sesuatu pemerhatian okay? maksudnya kita bagi sebab ataupun kesimpulan awal let us read the conversation between Langi and his friends below Langi why does this plant look green and fresh ok Uh, murid perempuan ni tanya kawan dia langgi Kenapa pokok ni okay, Look green and fresh Nampak segar Kenapa okay, Jadi langgi jawab Maybe the plant is watered every day Mungkin pokok ini disiram setiap hari Perhaps the plant has been given enough fertilizers Good, you have just made inferences or initial conclusions about the plant. Okay, maybe the plant is watered every day. Okay, yang kat sini. And perhaps the plant has been given enough fertilizers. Are uh, inferences made from the observations below. Okay, first of all. We need to do observations Okay, ni apa yang murid perempuan ni buat Dia buat observations Iaitu pemerhatian Pemerhatiannya ialah Okay, this plant Look green and fresh Jadi pemerhatian yang dibuat Pokok ini nampak Hijau dan Segar Okay, selepas buat pemerhatian Barulah Okay, dia buat kesimpulan awal Kenapa Pokok ini hijau dan segar okay. Kesimpulan awalnya mungkin Maybe the plant is watered every day okay. Mungkin pokok ini disiram setiap hari okay. Kesimpulan yang pertama Yang kedua Perhaps the plant has been given enough fertilizers okay. Mungkin pokok ini diberi baja yang cukup Jadi kedua-dua ini ialah Kesimpulan awal yang dibuat ataupun inference, okay? Inferences made from the observation. Okay, ni ialah observation, and ni ialah kedua-dua ni ialah kesimpulan awal ataupun inference yang dibuat berdasarkan observation. Okay, now turn to page 9 Okay, let's look at another example. Why are the leaves yellow? You are right. The plant is wilted too. Maybe it didn't get enough fertilizers. It looks like the plant didn't get enough water. The soil looks dry too. 
Maybe the plant was attacked by insect. Okay, so the observation here. The leaf yellow and the plant is wilted. Pemerhatian di sini ialah daun tumbuhan kuning dan juga layu. So, the inferences that they make, okay, inference yang mereka buat ataupun kesimpulan awal yang mereka buat, okay, yang pertama, maybe it didn't get enough fertilizers. Okay, mungkin tumbuhan ni tak dapat cukup baja. Okay, yang kedua, it looks like the plant didn't get enough water. Mungkin juga tumbuhan ini tidak mendapat air yang cukup. Okay, and then maybe the plant was attacked by insects. Okay, mungkin juga the uh, tumbuhan ini layu kerana diserang oleh serangga. So here there are three inferences that can be made from this observation. Inferences that are made may be true or false. Okay, inference yang dibuat mungkin betul dan mungkin juga salah. Okay, inferences can be made based on the following steps. Okay, the first step ialah observation. Okay, we do the observation first and then we give reasonable explanation of the observation. Kita buat pemerhatian, kemudian kita bagi sebab ataupun keterangan berdasarkan pemerhatian itu. Okay, jadi itulah inference or initial conclusion, kesimpulan awal. Okay, now let's look at another scientific skills which is predicting predicting is a skill to state an expectation of an event that will happen okay predicting ialah meramal predict what might happen if one of the children does not move his or her feet in this race. Okay, so you can see the race here. And the question asks, predict what might happen. Okay, ramalkan apa yang akan terjadi if one of the children does not move his or her feet. Okay, ramalkan apa yang akan terjadi jika salah seorang Budak-budak ni tidak menggerakkan kaki. Okay, predictions may be true or false. Ramalan mungkin boleh menjadi betul ataupun salah. So, we can predict uh, budak ni mungkin akan terjatuh okay, jika tidak menggerakkan kaki. Look at the situation below. Predict the color of the cream that comes next. Okay, we can see here white, red, yellow. White, red, yellow. So, after yellow, maybe white again. Okay, so we can predict the color of the cream. You can look at your textbook, page 12. Let's read together. Predicting is not the same as guessing because prediction is made based on observations, previous experiences, data or patterns. Based on this picture, predict what will happen next. What is your evidence to support the prediction? 
So based on this uh, picture, we can predict after this, uh, maybe it will rain. Okay, what is your evidence? Okay, dia tanya apa bukti untuk menyokong ramalan tu? Okay, buktinya kita boleh tengok contohnya ada kilat. Okay, dan angin juga bertiup kencang. So our prediction will be lepas ni akan hujan. It will rain after this. Okay, more than one prediction can be made. Okay, maksudnya lebih dari satu ramalan boleh dibuat. Look at the situation below. Okay, there's a boy playing football. What is your prediction on the movement of the ball? Okay, apa ramalan yang boleh kamu buat tentang pergerakan bola ni? Okay, the first prediction. Ramalan yang pertama. Mungkin bola ni akan masuk gol. Okay, berjaya gol. Tidak dapat ditangkap oleh keeper. Okay, the next prediction. Okay, ramalan yang kedua. Mungkin bola ni berjaya ditangkap oleh keeper. Maksudnya, tak masuk gol. Okay, so more than one prediction can be made. Let's start by talking about predictions. A prediction is something that we think will happen in the future. Good readers make predictions about what will happen next in the story. When we predict something, we can use the sentence frame I think or I predict. Practice by making some predictions. If it's cold and there are a lot of dark clouds, what do you think will happen? I predict it will rain. If Mrs. French is holding her stomach and looks hungry, what will happen? I think she will eat. Good readers also use pictures when they're reading stories. It can help them make predictions or it can help them solve unknown words. If you didn't know the word read, reading, or book, you might be able to look at the picture and see what Mrs. French is doing or see what is in her hand. Sometimes we can see how a character feels by looking at their face. Mrs. French looks angry, mad, or furious. So, to conclude our today's lesson, the first one, making inferences. Okay, making inference is uh, we make an initial conclusion based on our observations. Okay, kita buat kesimpulan awal berdasarkan pemerhatian. Okay, the next one is predicting. Okay, predicting is we predict what will happen next based on observations, pre uh, previous experiences, data or patterns. Okay, maksudnya kita meramal apa yang akan terjadi seterusnya. Okay, berdasarkan pemerhatian, pengalaman lepas, okay, ataupun data. That's all for today. Don't forget to do the task given and turn in in the Google Classroom. Stay safe and happy learning.